So my name is Iris Bockerman. I am a lecturer at the University of Bremen in the Department of Mathematics, Computer Science. I am entrusted with, especially with the teacher training program there. Do I direct all types of schools to introduce all school subjects to digital technologies? to use, develop, test, evaluate this appropriate education. Very nice. How did you get there to this professional focus? Yes, that was like so many things in life. A coincidence? It was in the 90s that the Expo came to Germany, and I received the offer and a work contract to develop computer media tech communication, i.e. the state of research, to which women communicate on the Internet, because at that time, not only had the suspicion, but already knew, somehow they communicate differently, and that was for two months I was just paid, and that was my entry. I had nothing to do with IT before. To distinguish myself in this field for the first time, and then the teacher training here at the university came across me so at that time there was still something like technology, education, and also IT was still something, how should I say, was still underprivileged, and at that time it was important in the technology education that you knew how a vacuum cleaner is built or understood how the washing machine worked and you hoped through a teaching assignment, which I got at that time, technology, development, and gender in teaching just accordingly. Represented, I say. And that was practically right for my entry into IT. Then I was offered a very boring job, namely, platforms so not now something we have here a video platform, but platforms for the educational context, where they upload files and downloaded, maybe a forum and wiki etc., accordingly to check whether they are suitable for a certain educational context. And then I think I have two years of this rather boring job, so because it's a bit dull, what I deal with functionalities of platforms. But work there in the world's best working group. The head back then, sadly, she passed away. Heidi Skelhau, and we were 20. Women and men interdisciplinary and have taught research and so on, so that it was not so bad to do something very boring, but I'm here, I loved and I felt we could move the world. Must have my finger on the pulse of time. Yes, that's exactly what was, you always have to. Pay attention to what actually constitutes work. Sometimes it's the content that's your turn. Sometimes it's just the working group or the corridors that are popular. So what? There was a concern in the working group to always make sure that everyone was well accommodated, that everyone was well paid, and so on. Was then the entrance for me. Uh, also to stay tuned. Mm -hmm. You are a sociologist by training. Yes, exactly. And did you already do your doctorate in advance or during this process, which then entered this digital world? So science is a very precarious business, so at least normally at the universities we are all always on time and always counted, just set. That is, today we currently have six years before the doctorate and are allowed to be employed at a university, and then again six years later to qualify for the prof. Of course, I was counted dollars at some point in the course of time, so the university told me. I still have three years to do my doctorate, or otherwise the topic of science will be excluded forever and ever. 
And at that time, I was no longer in this working group, but was managing director in an IT area, and that was image processing. I only worked with men. And I looked after many very young people in their doctorates, where I thought you motion, so I can do that now with this biggest bath, then carries in my heart. Of course, it was also needed, and then I left the management again and said I was doing my doctorate now, I want to stay in this area, and then tackled it. Very big hit, that was not possible with children and place and so on, so that was just that I started with a solar system in the promotion to reinvent, but it was always clear I have three years, two months, eight days, I ultimately needed something, I in the IT very, very, very appreciate that there was always care and care that is a qualification goal and not a self-realization for for something that's a bit different in the humanities because I usually work the entire history of education. Again, since Aristotle on yes, and then what I did my doctorate, and then I also worked out that I did not have to get out of this context, and yes, in philosophy, aha. Dass ich nicht hier raus musste aus diesem Kontext und ja, in der Philosophie. Aha. And so, you've kind of come to this stem. Not really. To absolutely work. Contract and then teaching assignment and... Then through this first boring job, however, which is just because computer science is a very application-oriented field, yes, what then just possible? You can do any form of political, philosophical question. As always, combining with computer science and bringing it back into the world, I think that's the beauty of this subject area that you have to deal with. Yes, and then what I see is that you are learning by doing any you learn it, so you didn't do any training to start your job, but you got a job and then you just learned it because... You. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And now we've heard a little bit about what fascinated them about going down this path. Was it more the university that pushed that you like this kind of work? Or really? The content then also there you would have stayed in IT. In the whole STEM field. Yes, that sounds so idealistically shaped, so I come from very small circumstances, and the most important thing was for me that I get paid for what I do. And science pays well, and you have high degrees of freedom, so you just say something about yes learning by doing yes, so it was so it also belongs something like discipline and ambition must come in there, and then yes, so I followed it. And does she enjoy it? Well, because there are many somehow we know that women find it very difficult to get into all these areas and prefer not to get into it at all, especially at our age. Do you really enjoy it? With these new developments? To keep up? So I have now seen in your on your website that you have in the institute that you are now intensively involved with tablets, for example, so makerspaces are also a fable of mine, which I find very good, which I find very helpful. Do you enjoy working with it or do you just do it because... Secondly, no, 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 so that's great fun. I'm not that kind of technique. Speaker, yes. So this is such a fabrication laboratory, is there. You have big machines standing. I find the reader, cat, great plotter 3, D printer, etc. In physical computing, I know there are women around me who start it for breakfast, who are soldering, and so on. I'm not, but... I think it's great to work so far into a software that I can produce something with it and to put something into the world. But that's great fun.
And where do you think what will be of interest to you next in your field? For example, is this the AI popping up everywhere or what do you see? Yes, of course, AI plays a certain role, both here in the higher education sector, as at least in Germany at the moment, largely all demands go in. Yes, because the want to play in the big global giga and the school sector is also a little on the flicker, because they are worried that they will not be able to recognize it if Czech PDH takes appropriate action. Yes, this will certainly be a side track, because always having the ear on it, what happens there? We will certainly be in the spirit of HCI, like computer interaction, so in this area will happen a lot, so that I move in the world and it is recognized what are my interests. If I dress them, etc., so that I just get personalized recommendations, etc. Yes. So whether Germany can really play in the league, the AI? That, I can't predict yet. We are currently still in such a field of catch-up development. Because I have the feeling here, from the Asian region, some of which are 10 years, 15 years in advance. As far as these stories are concerned, so to look ahead in computer science, what sets out the coming years as a technological focus is very difficult, because we look at three years, and where I would say further the view is not because this is of course an interplay from which. Technological, and there is, but also something socially, culturally, driven, as it is assumed, and then also associations are used. Who has, I don't like to swing and I say, I know how it will be, and where it goes. And what else would you like to learn? Or around? No, so that's what I do professionally all the time with the familiarization with new things. There is not. Just as one usually says of demarcated fields, that I still want to learn Chinese in old age, or a specific programming language. This is not the case, but in the course of the... Thesis, for example, here by students. This starts with the bachelor. Since I have to look again and again into these different fields of application of the IT just incorporate. This is certainly not always the in-depth knowledge I have, but I would say the mobility. Also die, die Beweglichkeit, um, is, is definitely there, or what I do a lot, is we call this the third-party funding is, area, um, that I sound out the market. Where are their subsidies, or where are their companies? Those who have their finger on the pulse of the times, or who belong to the startup, and who could be included in such a consortium for research funding. In that respect, it is. Uh, broad what I do and but just rather to find money to then again scientists or to work closely with companies and to promote new developments accordingly with this MOOC we are also trying to encourage women who are now in these situations of professional upheaval even now, for example, right now through AI is back at the top, on the agenda, that the professions will change, that many professions will probably change a lot or even disappear. And in the STEM sector we know that a lot has to happen in Germany. You also said we have a lot of catching up to do so at least the next 10 years we have enough to do here. What opportunities do you see for women who are already a bit advanced to get involved? To aspire to any career in quotation marks. Did you have that? 
Idea, yes. So yes, I wouldn't call it a career, would I? At least this word is foreign to me. But if we were to formulate something flatter, so to speak, a start. Then I think I would rely less on IT. Yes, let's take something like a programming language, because that's so easy to understand, but first to balance for yourself. What am I good at, and what do I like to do? And that can do something. Be very representational. It can be something very... Humanities, or yes, from an everyday context, if you have that clear for yourself and have taken stock and then try with the IT accordingly in the search mask. Because I had already said that computer science is nothing without society, without the context. That would be a way, so then it is visible how. How deeply computer science is already inscribed in society, and that could be a gateway to move in this direction. From the yes of empowerment, or as you call it, so to move purely, mentally at least to say I, I can do something there. In one and A, I have a certain understanding. And then get me. Skills that have to do with IT. So yes, that would be the first anchor point for me, especially if it is self-confidence not at the top or a certain one. The skill is not yet there, that is not so crucial, but I would always come from another side so, or I would advise to come from the other side first to start with what can I do. What do I like to do? Not everyone has to develop KI themselves, but applying would be the first, would be the first step. What would you recommend if you wanted to get in? And you would want to invest a certain amount of time. Where would you start? What would you recommend to people? Recommend women? A certain time budget, that is. I need the next understanding about who we are talking about. So these are women who have finished their studies at some point, have been out longer, and now I see themselves practically wanting to reposition their careers. For the most part, yes. Yes, yes. So what has happened in Germany many times? that the universities are short-term studies or or offering in this direction from one to a year and a half. I do not know if that. Or is that what you mean? Please, again. Micro-credentials, do you mean that you can? Can continue your education via these small certificate modules? Somehow no, are not no training modules, but it is practical like it either focus in the IT, for example, we have the one-to-one -one and a half years then again tighter study is put on it, gets again an updated degree, and can be put from there with many internships that can be put in between that time has already been in contact with companies and with various topics, and there is to see which. Which tasks cutting is actually fun for me. I can get involved and is also company value, so I say that they're just accordingly. This is partly done, and what is divided on the one hand into specialist content, which is conveyed there, and the second is... To promote their, how should I say, to get this restructuring of the working world accordingly, and to grow there accordingly, because yes, usually this contact with it is missing. How shall I say? 
Even so, work processes, just to be able to look in there and to test it for yourself, and not only to test it dry in the sense of I am now being formed or I am studying it now, but as I said, the company contacts is then relatively high and I can look at it. So, you can recommend that if you just say I have now. I'm ready to put in it again for a year and a half. Do you have this in Bremen? Is this a presence? Study, or can you do it from afar? It's presence not only in Bremen, so I know that from Hamburg. I know it. Berlin. Mm -hmm. IT, we have a big shortage. Sounds strange, but more workers are needed outside than what we train here, so women are always happy to be rediscovered as the first and last resource, and you are then committed and say, how do we get them in this area? And... At least I think it's good that there are cut modules for it, which don't say you can start all over again and now again a whole study on it, but that is really a limited period of time or that is just put on top of it. Yeah. Could you maybe send me some links afterwards, then I could put them here as an annotation. Last point, what do you recommend to women 4 to 5 plus or younger to participate in the future you would have such a postgraduate course? Recommend also I what I observe is it is difficult to stay really open for all these developments so rather really with a lot of fear also is also in public discourse very much fear of artificial intelligence is rather the skepticism or rather the challenges that are in the foreground less the opportunities and the possibilities are less highlighted where do you see that what do you see as the most important point for people let's say women in the bathroom in the broadest sense that they just this openness can live Yes, yes. So I, yes, I share this with the how should I say structural, that there is a certain attitude. Preserved is carried in front of itself. I can only report from my experiences with teaching, so I have a lot to do with teacher training students who carry something similar in themselves, who have a certain concept of good education and embrace the good book and trees, would be so important and like the manuscripts and... Das gute Buch und Bäume umarmen wäre so wichtig und just everything is lost and completely out of sight of how they deal with media themselves so that's really part of their lives but you don't want to be in a professional context like that and that's where I see my task you don't just to introduce missionary and to say so if you have gone through my courses you have to find that good and you have to use the request but I try to bring them so close to the technology that they can decide for themselves is that, without there being an ideological story. Their attitude is flat. So I think before you deal with people for a long time, media are good about that. Are media not good? We have experienced, now in the pandemic. The digital media have saved us the popo that we still work and communicate with each other at all and that all our social contacts have often lived on it. Sometimes people sat at the kitchen table and had those who tiled, practically then eaten together. So, on the one hand, I would unite in this direction. Leave a bit and let them work directly with the media, so where you don't let so much come up. Attitude questions to discuss, but first of all, we just had that with the flaps or the maker spaces, that they do something. Produce, modify, model the same. And where not? The question is, what do I need this or something for? But that they acquire knowledge about these small projects and the questions of all the reservations put aside for the time being. 
something, because I have the feeling that you can't get any further, so you can't get to the we don't do psychotherapy, or we don't want to go very early into childhood to see why there is so little open-minded. Yes, that's not the question. I would get them to work and pushing everything else aside for the time being and have had the feeling so far. No matter if I had done HTML with them in earlier times, and they then had their running website, which is actually still an award language, but they were as proud as ball that your website was running, and that brushed everything aside. Whether this is a field, which is good and important for them, but they have made it, so that would be so in. So snippets of how I approach it, at least on the personal level, what you have written, of course, still applies. Yes, it is ultimately also an expression of one's own creativity, what you then see, any as a result of your own trade, okay? Those were my 10 questions. Thank you, Iris, for your time. Hello.